Hey y'all, in this video I'm gonna talk a bit about Podgo Edit and uh, today I'm gonna talk specifically about renaming stuff. We can have our own name for snapshots, we can have our own names for foot switches and we can also have our own colors for uh, both of those. Before I begin I just have to say one thing this time or maybe two. If you visit the description box below you'll find a Google Drive folder that contains a lot of uh, free Podgo patches so uh, feel free to explore and download those at any time and if you feel like it you can Okay, so what I have here in front of me is the last preset that I uploaded inside the Google folder that I just mentioned, which is called Gilmorizing. And in this one, I try to cover some of the famous uh, David Gilmore sounds. However, there are a few things that I also did to this preset to make it more accessible and more understandable. So there's this photo camera icon inside the Podgo Edit software. And in there, you will see the four snapshots appear. The names of the snapshots that you see here, the U-Wipe Clean, the Muff Rhythm, the big lead and the stamp box represent what's actually going inside the snapshot. So the U-Vibe clean, we have the Uni-Vibe as well as some other effects, but that's the whole point of the of the snapshot one, the Uni-Vibe. If I switch back to the Muff Rhythm, you will see that inside this snapshot, the Uni-Vibe goes away, but the triangle fuzz comes on and that's why I named it Muff Rhythm, obviously. Snapshot number three is called the Big Lead because it combines all the effects and there's a lot more delay and a lot more uh, sustain from the fuzz. And finally, we have uh, snapshot number four which is stomp box and there are no active pedals here except for the plate reverb and renaming stuff inside the podgo edit software is much much easier than on the unit itself because although this scroll wheel is quite fast it's kind of tricky to navigate all you have to do to rename the snapshot is double click on the name of it and rename it so instead of stomp box you can say just stomp and that's it. Also, if you want a specific color for snapshot number four, I left it to be uh, white. But if you want it to be, let's say, uh, violet, you can make it violet and the snapshot will be in the violet color. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this Gilmorizing preset in a second, but first I'm gonna show you my favorite preset, or better to say, a preset that includes my favorite amp from the Podgo, which is the SLO 100, and what I did uh, to this uh, preset, because I'm using it only in Stompbox mode, and I wanted to do something with the uh, footswitch names. So check this out, if you click on Window, and you click on this show bypass slash control, you will see a menu pop up from below. Inside this window, we can do a few things, but I'm gonna show you how you can rename a foot switch. So the first thing that I wanted to rename was the elephant man. The elephant man is the EHX uh, deluxe memory man. And that's why I renamed foot switch number five to say memory man instead of elephant man. Also foot switch number two controls uh, something inside the elephant man or the memory man now. It controls the mode of the modulation. It can be either the chorus setting or the vibrato setting. So what I did for foot switch number two is change its color to green and rename it to say MM mode, which means memory man mode. So renaming and color coding works the same way as it works for snapshots in the upper menu. You have to double click to rename and you have to click on the three dots to get the foot switch color menu to pop out from here. On the amp block itself, I can control two things. I can control the drive and the master. In this case, when I push the foot switch one, which is the amp master, it will go from six up to seven, I guess. Yeah, and if I press on footswitch number four, which I renamed to be uh, amp drive, the drive control will jump from 4.8 up to 6.8. And obviously, since the M block is red, I've color coded these uh, two uh, foot switches to be in the color red. And finally, as you can see, I've renamed the two drives that I'm using. This is the Chandler tube driver. And uh, originally inside the pod, it's called the valve driver. The second overdrive that I'm using with this preset is called the horizon drive inside the pod but I renamed it to be called the precision drive because it's precision drive by Horizon devices. Thank <laughs> you. 
Anyway, that's it. Just a few tips on organizing your PodGo presets better. Having the ability to change the color and uh, correctly name the pedal that you have inside the PodGo maybe it doesn't seem like such a great deal, but honestly, there's so many blocks inside the PodGo and I constantly have to go back and remind myself inside the manual, what are we dealing with here exactly? What is this sand block? What is this drive? What is this delay? So that's it for this time. If you want to know more about PodGo edit software or anything, about Podgo, just let me know. Bye all.